Okay, guys, this is our setup for the blog. Uh, doing this in 10 minutes or less, I'm going to go ahead and start my timer down here. Uh, start your favorite browser, and we want to, in this case, go to hostmonster.com. Uh, we're going to click on the Get Started button here. You can see there's a $3.95 monthly special this time. Um, we're going to do 10 minutes or less for our domain search. We'll click Next and see if that's available. Uh, it's going to do a little search real quickly. You can see it. We're 27 minutes. That domain is available, 10 minutes or less. So now we go ahead and fill out our information. We're going to go ahead and put in our name first and last, our country, wherever you are, um, whatever your address happens to be for billing information. And I'm not going to skip through this because I want you to see that you can get this set up as quickly as uh, possible. We're down to the zip code and your phone number for contact information for your website um, and then an email address for the website. You want to come down and pick a hosting plan um, for the program, 12 month, 24 month, 36 month. Um, I always uncheck all these boxes for basic website setup and then you're going to enter your credit card information on the website. Uh, it's going to ask you what type of card, then for your card number, and just type that in, just like you normally fill out an internet form. No big deal. Um, what is your expiration date for your card? Basic stuff. And then your code on the back of your card. That's the three digit. Um, code that's on the back of your credit card. You want to agree to the terms and you click the next button. This will show you what you're buying now here at um, HostMonster for your hosting package. It will ask you if you want additional domains. You can do that if you want. Um, I'm just going to skip all that and my upgrade total is zero. I'm going to go ahead and complete my transaction. I'm going to create a password for my account which is going to be one of my favorite ways to make passwords. And I'm not going to do my pin right now. I'm going to click Submit. And this should take me back to my place where I can log in with my new password I created. When you get to your website host, you can choose these options or you can click No Thanks. And you should be able to go to something called a C panel or a control panel. Normally it's called C panel nowadays. Right? Once you get to the C panel, you are going to get rid of any messages such as this one. Uh, we're going to scroll down to use one of my favorite site builders called WordPress. Click that. Your host will now take you to a place where the install will occur for your domain. You're going to click on install. We're going to wait just a few minutes here. We don't want any additional options. Down here, we want the stable version, of course, 10 minutes or less.com. We're going to not have any advanced options. I'm going to uncheck this and uncheck this. I'll add my own plugins later, and I'm just going to leave the small biz theme. I'm going to check here to agree to the terms and complete. Once this installs and is completed, I want to come down and copy my administrative password for this particular blog which is right here where it says password I'm gonna copy that and then I want to click the link that says www.10minutesorless.com wp-admin that will take me to my login for my new blog the username for this is admin I'm gonna paste that password I had one of the first things I like to do when I get my blog set up is to go to my tab for my general settings and make sure I change this to the name of my blog, which for right now will be 10 minutes or less. Quick blog setup can be my tagline, and I'm going to save changes. And then I'm going to come up here to my appearance and change my theme to the small biz theme. Just click activate. And now
now I'm going to go to make a new post. Go to the posts option on the left hand side. Go down to add new. This will be the first post for 10 minutes or less. You too can set up your own web post and be blogging in 10 minutes or less. I'm going to click publish. That is my first post on my brand new site. Right here I'm going to right click, open this in a new tab or control click and look at my blog. I'm going to come here and make sure I update my post. I'm going to view my post. And there it is. You too can set up your own web host to be blogging in 10 minutes or less. Here's my website. This is a graphic that I did not correct, but that's okay. You can do that on your own. If you look down here at the bottom of the screen, we're at 6 minutes 26 seconds. I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and close my install and come back to my dashboard for my WordPress blog. I'm going to go back to my settings and make sure I update that again. I did. Now, along the way, you can go to Appearance and change the themes to whatever theme you want it to be. Um, if you don't see a theme that you like, you can come here and search Installed Themes. One of the ones I like to use is called Copy Blogger by Chris Pearson at personified, I believe, .com. I can search that and see if I can find that. Find it. I'm going to search again. Under install themes. Oh, did not find a match for that. Let's do a blue theme because I like blue. When you search, you can see you get all kinds of options from the WordPress theme gallery. If you just click install in one of these, it will take you through the process of installing it online immediately. Then you click activate from the install. and once it stops installing it will tell you that and you can go to the site and check out your new theme and there's a brand new theme um, that is what you've got with WordPress uh, lots of options with WordPress you can go to uh, the plugin settings and you can add um, new plugins you can edit your plugins. If you know a little HTML, CSS, PHP, you can go to the appearance editor and edit your themes. When you look at your blog, you can customize any graphics. You can customize your um, color scheme for your menus. You can actually go and download or install to your WordPress menu bar plugins. There's a ton of them. Look at the ratings, see what they look like see what people say about them, use them on your website. If you look down here with all that talking I did, we're still at 8 minutes and 50 seconds and we are installed and ready to start blogging. Um, go ahead and add some posts to your website, go ahead and add some pages to your website, you are on your way. Thanks guys, remember uh, to go to our website 10 minutes or less dot com and you can subscribe to the RSS feed to receive updates in your email, subscribe to our a YouTube channel or you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Uh, we're going to update with a new theme, add some buttons uh, for you guys to be able to do that. Thank you guys for watching our video today.